too fast, Joe. Alright, thanks a lot, guys. Now, the Gordon Conwell Seminary published a comprehensive study recently, recently with results that will surprise you. It revealed that 29% of the entire world population has never heard the gospel. 29%. Now, I've gathered some of the most current statistical data to understand our present need for spreading the gospel. There's a large gap between the amount of active Christians and the number of lost in this world. So what we're going to go over is, uh, I'm going to share with you guys the global population statistics, the number of people each year that are going to um, end up crossing from, from here into their eternal life, and the number of Christians in respect with those populations. So the world population estimated is about 6.7 billion people. Now, 340 million of those people live right here in the United States. It's a lot of people. The next, the next statistics I researched are how many people are going to die in the next year. Okay. Yeah, these statistics re represent only the adult population. The numbers are much higher when infants and children are added because we're talking about Christians and so they would have to be adults in order to be um, included in this. So 60 million people each year die, according to the World Health Organization. The national death rate reported by the CDC is 2 million a year. This data tells us that a lot of people this year have already entered into eternity. So what resources does the church have to reach these people for Christ? Well, across the world, there are a reported number of Catholic Christians adding up to 17%. Catholic Christians would be those who attend Catholic churches but still um, believe in the evangelical view of the Bible. Now, internationally, the percentage of professed professing non-Catholic Christians, which is, is the rest, is 16%. That brings the total world population of all reported Bible-believing Christians to 33% of the world population. Uh, these numbers reflect only those who refer to themselves as Christians and who believe the Bible is 100% true. So we're talking about people that don't just say they're a Christian, but have been documented to actually uh, believe in the truth of the Bible. Only 66% of all Christians proclaim to attend a local church. Okay? 34% of the unchurched Christians, which means 34% of Christians, um, that are likely inactive for God. So you've got 66% that do. The other percentages are those who aren't being active for God. They're, they're doing whatever they're doing, but they're not spending time out reaching people, which is what we need to do. Okay, the United States has a professed 71% of Christians, 71% uh, profess to be Christians. 26 of those are Catholics not holding the even evangelical view of the Bible. Sorry. 45% compromise all the other Christian denominations. And I suspect that these numbers are highly inflated when one looks around to find active Christians in our world. Very few can be found. Matthew 9.37 shows us that this is nothing new. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. The outcome of these statistics shows us that most Christians are not contributors, contributors to sharing the gospel. There's a disturbing ratio of those who call themselves Christians but do not completely believe the Bible. When this data is broken down to show acts of Christians, it's even more disturbing. The enormous weight on those who are ministering the gospel is too much, is too much most of the time. So I'd like to thank you guys for listening to me and taking the time. Um, and thank you.